Ah, the NBA playoffs where the pressure is so intense it could turn coal into diamond, or at least a basketball into a stress ball. Speaking of pressure, let's dive into the fiery clash where the New York Knicks squared off against the Indiana Pacers. It all started with the Knicks, looking like they might have left their mojo in the locker room, stumbling out of the gates faster than a toddler in oversized shoes. The Pacers, on the other hand, came out swinging, with Tyrese Halliburton scoring like he was playing a video game on rookie mode. 34 points, folks, all while probably making his grocery list in his head. But as the second half rolled around, Jalen Brunson decided it was time to stop window shopping and start buying some buckets. Returning from a foot injury, Brunson looked like a man who just realized his foot works just as well for scoring points as it does for stepping over lines in hopscotch. And boy did he hop to it, steering the Knicks to a 130-121 to victory. Amidst the chaos, Pacers coach Rick Carlisle found himself tossed from the game faster than unsolicited advice at a family reunion. His ejection was the cherry on top of a critique Sunday he served up about the officiating. Talk about a spicy exit! Let's not forget the dynamic duo of Dante DiVincenzo and Oji Anunobi who tossed in crucial baskets like they were making wishes at a fountain. Together, they turned the game's tide, proving that sometimes it takes a village, or at least a couple of villagers, to raise a victory. As the final buzzer sounded, the Knicks had secured a 2-0 lead in the series, leaving the Pacers to ponder the eternal question, what's tougher, solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded or stopping Jalen Brunson? Looking ahead, if the intensity of this game was any indication, the next one promises to be as unpredictable as trying to guess the next word out of a toddler's mouth. Will Brunson continue to be the Knicks' knight in shining armor? Or will the Pacers find a way to turn their fortunes around like a pancake that's been on the skillet a tad too long? Stay tuned, because this series is shaping up to be as gripping as a soap opera with a basketball. Now there's an idea for a new TV show. Until next time, like and subscribe to get more sports news as it happens.